now most of the world is in quarantine and we have been for a while. Everyone's getting restless and everyone has their own ways of coping with it and out of this quarantine I've noticed a lot of trends that have come about ever since it, it began. Uh, six to be exact, six trends, I'm nar narrowing it down, that came out of this quarantine that I've noticed just exploded all over the internet. Uh, a lot of these I haven't taken part in. One of them I probably, okay, let's, let's go with two. Two I will not take part in and I will tell you which two that those are in a minute. But uh, these trends have exploded online, IG, Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, probably not MySpace, but they're all over the place. And uh, these six are the ones that I've noticed stood out the most to me. All right, we're gonna start with the first one, the biggest one that I've noticed, and I'm frankly kind of tired of because I haven't watched it and I don't plan on watching it. Maybe sometime down the line I will, but usually things with a lot of hype behind them, if I haven't already started it, I probably won't start because the hype is kind of annoying at this point. And that is Tiger King. For four weeks now, that's all I've heard is just Tiger King. Carol Baskins killed her husband. Carol Baskins fed her husband to the tigers. Free Joe Exotic. By the way, don't free Joe Exotic. I did my research. That dude is a scumbag. So yeah, d don't free Joe Exotic. Keep him where he is for now. It seems that I can't scroll Facebook or IG or Twitter for more than a second without seeing some kind of Carol Baskin meme, some kind of Joe Exotic meme, some kind of reference to Tiger King. It's just so oversaturated that it's it's blown out of proportion, it's nuts and I'm kind of over it. I honestly cannot wait till Netflix drops something else so people can stop talking about Tiger King. Just, just, just stop. Stop it, get some help. Another trend that I've been noticing lately is all these bakers came out of the woodworks. All of a sudden everybody's making sourdough bread, sourdough starters, banana bread, muffins, uh, homemade granola bars. Where did all these bakers come from? All these Betty Crockers just came out of nowhere, it's crazy. I will say though, I do have some bananas that are a little overripe right now and I may give my hand at some banana bread. Now I'm not the best baker in the world, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I mean, how, how bad could it be? Another one that I've noticed, now this one's pretty positive. They're all fairly positive, but uh, this one's good for the immune system and the kind of situation that we're finding ourselves in right now. This one does a lot of help. But everybody also became personal trainers out of nowhere. Reach. And reach now up, two, three, and circle. But everyone's posting home workouts, home workout routines. They're offering email subscription lists to workouts. Uh, some people that I've never seen work out a day in my life on social media. But if you don't post it, it doesn't count. So Now I will say this is one trend that I have been trying to keep up with because your boy got fat. Gained a couple pounds over this quarantine. Uh, so I'm trying my best to keep up with some friends workouts here at home with the little equipment that I have So thank you guys for posting these workouts, but uh, yeah Kind of odd the next one is really counterproductive. I understand trying to get away for a little bit because the Reality of being at home 24 hours a day except for your walks and your runs and your other home workouts It kind of takes its toll on people's mental health. So drinking a glass of wine or two does help relax the mind and helps take some of the tension away from being in quarantine and the situation we're living in right now. But some people are just going overboard, man. I've been noticing people drinking day in and day out. Like, there's this thing called the see a shot, take a shot challenge, and it just blew up on Instagram and Facebook. And I've seen people take around 384,000 shots ever since this quarantine started. So probably not the best thing to do while trying to stay healthy for this pandemic. Um, but you do you, playa, I guess. And then we have some people acting like they've never drank a day in their life and they're like, oh, me a shot? No, no, I, I, I can't do that. There's no way, I'm not a drinker. Fine, one little shot, but, but, but just one. Another one I've been noticing primarily on Facebook because Facebook is the platform where you can share posts a lot easier than IG. Twitter, not so much. I don't use Twitter that much, so I really haven't been seeing it on Twitter. But uh, sharing quizzes, if you see the color green in your camera roll, if you see the color purple, purple, blue, whatever. Been seeing a lot of that too. Now those can be fun, I'm not downplaying those, but still I, that's another trend that's been blowing up on social media like crazy. Now the biggest, most annoying one that I have to address is TikTok. Now let me get into this grand discussion, this five minute discussion as to why I dislike TikTok. <clears throat> Here it goes. And that's all I have to say about TikTok. <laughs> but yeah, guys, in all seriousness, uh, at the end of the day, you have to do what you gotta do to get through this quarantine. It's a very hard time that we're all experiencing. It's something that none of us thought we would have to experience in our lifetimes. 
So uh, this is all just for laughs, for jokes. So don't take any of this serious. Take it with a grain of salt. Uh, in fact, I encourage you to pick something up during this time off. If Tiger King makes you happy, if baking makes you happy, if drinking in moderation makes you happy, home workouts, <sighs> TikTok, I guess. Whatever it is to help you pass the time, to help your mind get off of this brutal situation we're all going through, then by all means, go for it. Whatever helps you relax, keep your mind at ease, uh, do it. Whatever helps you stay home, stay safe. For all the essential workers out there, I really feel for you guys. Uh, you guys should be paid double, triple what you guys are being paid right now. But for those that are trying to pass time at home, do whatever it takes. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, hope it made you laugh at least once or twice. I tried. But yeah, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you're notified every time I drop a brand new video. And yeah, stay safe out there. Wash your hands, wash that ass, and uh, stay inside. Follow the rules, and this will all be over soon, hopefully. Peace.